Unfortunately, what they got was this really damning report that called what they found a community in disarray. Mm -hmm. um, so this was the beginning of the sort of national wake up that like maybe there was something wrong in forensic science. So uh, then in 2013, you had the NCFS which was this council that you were talking about. And it was a really, you know, it was a really interdisciplinary body of scientists, forensic experts, defense attorneys, prosecutors, um, everyone who was sort of involved. It didn't have a lot of teeth. Uh, it only met a few times a year and gave recommendations to the DOJ, which the DOJ, for the most part, did not adopt. Um, but it was sort of a step in the right direction. Um, Trump was elected, Jeff Sessions became head of the DOJ, and he allowed this, the NCFS, to expire. They just sort of didn't renew it. Um, and basically, they moved all of the forensic reform efforts under the aegis of the DOJ. So this sort of interdisciplinary working groups of people thinking through this together, all suddenly now, all of this work is under the control of the DOJ. So the people that are in charge of prosecuting or the people that you know sit on one side of the case are now the ones making recommendations or deciding what is science and what isn't rather than right. scientists and as we said before you know why are they I don't know that they're necessarily you know killing it or that they are necessarily trying to stop all of the forward movement in this area but they're certainly moving very slowly and very cautiously and they have a lot to protect and they're perhaps not the people that should be doing this work.